How's it going guys? Chris here from Chris's Print Lab and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the perfect screw for your 3D prints. So I figured out how to do this through trial and error as I was trying to make this replica sword here from the Monster Hunter series. So pretty big sword, pretty to scale. And on the sword here, I have different screws to fasten the blade to the guard, to the buckles and all these other components. Now, the problem with using 3D printed screws is that if you print a screw with its head on the plate and up vertically, all the layer lines are gonna be printed in a horizontal direction, meaning that the weakest point is gonna be right here where it connects to the head. So as I was screwing the screws into my print, over torquing them was actually cracking the thread at the weakest point. So I had to come up with another way to do it. So we're gonna go into Fusion 360 right now and I'm gonna show you guys the best way to design your screws for your 3D prints. All right, so here I have my model in Fusion 360 and what I'm gonna do now is turn off all of the different bodies except for the screws. And then I'm gonna turn off all of the screws that are not size B. And now we can do our comparison. All right, cool. So as I zoom in here, so this is the screw that I ended up going with because it gives me the most strength with the desired shape of that screw head. So if I take off the head here, you can see that this screw now is going to lay flat on its back when it prints and all of the layers are gonna to be top to bottom, up and down, and it's gonna give it the most strength. Now, with this, I created a flat portion here to insert into the actual head, and then just using some glue, connected these, and boom, I now have a nice, strong screw head. Now, what I also did was create a screw head tool, and this tool allows me to screw that screw in without having the head on, and once it's in place, I'll then glue that head on so it's a nice finished product. Now, the wrong way to do this would to be to have our screw here with the circular threads printed on its head in a flat direction. And by doing so, the weakest point is going to be right here where the threads connect to the base of the screw. Now, because it's going to be printed in that horizontal direction, it's as strong as its weakest layer. So any extra torque here or bending is going to crack and separate the thread body from the screw head. Now, even if you filleted it a little bit and gave it a nice smooth edge, it's still going to be weaker at the top of that rounded portion and crack there. Now, the other way to do this is to take your screw and actually flatten both sides of it to create a nice, strong, solid piece with a head and a threaded portion. But the problem is if we look at the head now, it's not that desirable shape that we're looking for. So I came to the conclusion that separating the screw head and the screw body was what gave me the best and most desirable results. So what we're gonna do now is put them into the bamboo slicer, print them, and do a comparison once they're done. All right, so here we are in the slicer, and I have all three different screw types here. And again, remember, if we go to, let's go to like the preview here, if we look at the way that these are gonna be printed, so we'll go to like the first layer. If we look at the direction here, so these are gonna be printed in a long way back to front, long ways back to front, giving this nice strength. But if we look at the vertical screw, look how those layers are gonna be printed, like right, look at this area right here. They're gonna be printed horizontally, meaning they're gonna be really weak and any extra bending along this axis is gonna cause cracking at one of these layers. So because we're gonna be torquing this screw into its threads, it's likely gonna be cracking right over here due to the force pushing on the head of the screw and twisting. It. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead, hit print, and then from here, once it's done printing, we're going to compare the three different versions and see how sturdy they actually are. Now, right here, notice too, I've changed the sparse infill to only 15%. Now, obviously, the more you increase these, the stronger your screws are going to be. Um, so you can go up to like, you know, 50 plus if you really wanted to, and it's going to make these screws nice and strong, but you don't necessarily need it. All right, so I have the different screw types here. I have the flat one, and we're just gonna look at the one that does have the head attached because it's like the same shape. And then we're gonna look at the circular one. So I have my sword here, and we're gonna go ahead and screw in these screws here. I'm not gonna screw them in all the way, um, just to save some time, but just to show you the strength. So I'm gonna start with the flat one. So as I go and screw this in, now bear with me here. So as I go and screw this in, 
get a little bit of grip and I'm not going to screw it in all the way. We'll leave it right here, but I'll go to bend this screw now and I'm putting a lot of force on this screw and it is not breaking. So I'm going to unscrew this now and we're going to put in the circular screw. So let's see if we can line this up. Cool. And what I'm going to do now is put the same amount of force on here and this is likely going to break. So if I just do, let's see, boom, screw came right out and cracked. So that just shows you that printing your screws flat on the bed like this with a little section cut out is going to give you the strongest possible screws that you can have for your 3D prints. Thanks for watching, guys.